turn right onto Cedar Point Drive. All right, so, all right, so I'm heading West down the road. I'm heading down the road where I actually lost my truck back in with Hurricane Harvey and had to crawl out of the window um, because it was being submerged and it was in a river, a raging river going down a road. And we're about to pull up to the spot. Pardon my, uh, <laughs> pardon my directional, my lady give me directions. Um, so this, this is it. Which way did you get stuck with more downwards? That's it, that's the store right there. So, so right here, I got stuck here the, in this intersection right here. That store right there, there was a guy. And see that mailbox? Man, this is crazy. I'm about to turn around. That mailbox sitting right there, that big tall mailbox. Let me show you what happened. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, no, I didn't make it down this far. I'm going to walk you through this thing. Um, I never made I, I wasn't back here. So, was this parking lot flooded? This park, this whole, this whole freaking parking lot was flooded. Um, I'm, um, that, okay, I'm about to hop out of this truck. My truck got grabbed by the water over there when I came through that intersection. And the water was pushing me this way, right? Down this road? Down this road, it was pushing me. And by the time I got to right about there is when I made the decision to roll my window down and crawl out. And when I crawled out, a guy had come from that store. He had been, he was sitting on top of those mailboxes over there. That's that was the high ground out of the water. So you can imagine this whole parking lot was underwater. Oh, that man. restaurant was partly underwater, right? I'm in my truck right here. When I crawl out and I swim, I'm gonna get out because it's crazy, man. I, I I've been trying to relive this in my head, man. Like so. So I crawl out I crawl out of my truck from right here in front of this apartment complex and I swim from here from all the way all the way across this parking lot. We swam over here to this mailbox. You see that big tall mailbox right there? Right straight ahead. We sat on top of that so we could stay dry because the water was wait three four feet by then it was that deep there imagine how deep it was down here that's why i couldn't touch the ground and that's why i was in a raging river and that river took my truck down this road and it floated it underwater i watched it go underwater right about over there right about over there and then it went down underwater and it just kept you know it kept going and i lost my truck but anyways it, i'm lucky i'm a lot luckier than a lot of others so that guy that helped me lived in these apartment complexes right here and about after about 30 minutes we decided we were going to go swim back across and go back to his place because he was uphill well that was 11 o'clock at night and at five in the morning, I woke up in his guest room and my butt was wet. So the water had risen even more and it was equal to halfway up these buildings right here. So whenever I left his apartment at five in the morning, I literally had to go through the, I had to grab fences and, and grab a hold of fences going through the water and, and, and swim where I wanted to go. Swim through the currents on this road and, and I was basically just trying to go uphill the best I could and it took me two and a half hours and finally a guy I still got his jacket man I wish I had his name on it so I could call him and give him a big fat hug but um, some guy in, that was ex-army picked me up in a jeep took me home it was a wild night man I can't believe I'm back here this was all underwater I mean, halfway up that building right there, literally.
that, that brick wall. Anyways, there's the story.